Hello, my name is Walter Wimberly, and I'm an assistant professor of computer science, and I'm answering questions that people who are looking at going to computer science or maybe are new to computer science might be interested in. So today's question comes in a lot of different forms, and sometimes they come from a parent or sometimes they come from a future student, and it generally boils down to something like, I'm not like blank in a given TV show. Who that TV show is and who that character is varies from person to person, but everyone seems to have a certain idea of what a computer scientist or someone like that is going to be like. And so, do you have to be like person X in show Y or that you know in real life? And the answer is no. So that's the short answer. The, the short answer is no. You do not have to be like a particular individual. Having taught computer science for many years in, in different schools, I have found a wide variety of different types of students that come into my class that then go on and become successful in their careers. Some of them play a sport. Some of them don't. Some of them have a strong math and technical background in high school, and some of them don't. Some of them are returning students. They maybe left high school, they went into a career field, or maybe they went to college and went into a career field, and they're looking for something different, and so they return to school. There is no set or given example of what a student has to look like, act like, etc., to be successful in college and then in turn in their career. So just because you don't look like Sheldon on Big Bang Theory, or you don't look like your friends of your parents or someone that you know down the street, don't worry about that. The idea of the nerdy person sitting in a cold, dark basement room that just codes all day on a computer is a Hollywood trope. It is not reality. So don't think that you have to act all nerdy or like superhero movies or comics or anything like that. There is a wide variety of people who go into computer science and do it very successfully. And that type of person could be the type that you are. And maybe in five or ten years, you'll have someone looking at, do I have to be like, and they'll be talking about you. And hopefully you'll tell them the same thing. No, you don't. You have to be yourself and you have to be dedicated to doing a good job. And if you can do that, then you can be successful, not only in college, but in your career and life going forward. And that's what we really were looking for.